I'm building a war. That's probably the biggest thing that has been around in the 3D printing community lately and now I'm doing it as well. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about Voron, uh, why I wanna build one and why the 0 0.1 uh, version, so stay tuned. So why do I wanna build my own printer in the first place? Uh, well, for me, uh, the actual building process of building and tuning uh, the printer is actually as fun, if not even uh, better than actually using the printer once it's finished. Uh, so that's of course a big, uh, big part of it, because it's a lot of work and you have to uh, tune and do all that uh, that you might not have to do with an off-the-shelf uh, printer, uh, like an Ender 3 or any of the others out there. So uh, that's really important that you do enjoy that uh, and not find it uh, frustrating or hard or just want to be finished uh, immediately. Uh, of course I could buy a printer, but uh, if I did that I wouldn't get exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I wouldn't uh, uh, get to customize it uh, from the start, uh, but I would have to make change or changes afterwards that might not really fit and then I have to kind of work around uh, um, uh, things I don't really like about the printer. Because uh, if I'm building uh, my own printer from scratch, I can use the uh, uh, motherboard I want, I can use the other electronic components that, uh, that I want, and kind of go uh, from my budget, save on things I don't really uh, need uh, that high quality, and then spend more on things that I think are really necessary. And why do I want to build uh, the forum? I decided that I want to build a uh, uh, DIY 3D printer that I built myself. Uh, I have actually designed and built a 3D printer myself before uh, and designed it from scratch, so that's something that I already have done. And now I want something that was uh, a finished, tried, uh, and well working design. Uh, and there are quite, uh, quite a bit of options on the uh, slightly higher end with the hypercube and uh, other designs, but why we went for the Vorm uh, is uh, also partly to this uh, hype lately around uh, the Vorm printers and uh, how good they are with videos from uh, a lot of uh, big creators on YouTube and other platforms, uh, but also uh, the great community around the Vorm printers with the uh, community discord where you can uh, ask any questions you have uh, around your build uh, really great documentation about the printers uh, and also of course uh, how well built the actual printers are uh, almost overkill uh, but really well designed really sturdy and uh, as I said loved by a lot of people so that's why I went with uh, the Voron. So why the Voron 0.1 and not any of the other uh, Voron models like the Voron 2.4? Uh, well, there are quite a few reasons. Uh, one of them of course being the size of this uh, small printer with the build area of only 120mm cubed. Uh, but to be honest, most uh, of your prints uh, actually fit in that small build area. Uh, and it's very rarely you need something bigger. Uh, and that smaller build area also uh, makes it so you can go real fast. There are not a lot of mass in the components that are moving. Uh, so you'll get a faster print error for prototyping. And also the actual footprint of the printer is uh, a lot smaller there than the other Voron models. And this is really important because I want to take this printer with me the second thing is of course that you just don't just want uh, something that is decent the printer that works well most of the time you want something that is really good really reliable and uh, just works whenever you need it and that's what uh, the warm printers are uh, known for many people uh, build the warm printers just because of that that they can be a workhorse, uh, they are known for printing fast, so if you want to uh, 
get the prints out quicker it really is on these warm designs especially the 0 0.1 uh, versions because of its small build size uh, the light uh, extruder so it can move really quickly and print a lot faster than uh, your standard and the three so if you want to know some specs about the warm 0 0.1 uh, printer you can of course to go to the Voron uh, website which I will link below uh, to read more but uh, some of the basic specs uh, is it's a core XY design uh, run with a uh, NEMA 714 uh, stepper motors so the, it's the smaller version of the NEMA 17 that is used in most 3D printers uh, this has a directly driven uh, lead screw for the c-axis uh, the zero uh, version uh, which was the previous iteration of this machine had a belt driven lead screw but this has a NEMA uh, 17 cent motor with an integrated lead screw instead uh, this machine uh, as I said has a core XY setup uh, and also a direct drive extruder with the round uh, NEMA 14 pancake uh, stepper motor so it's really light. The printer runs on clipper with an uh, SKR uh, E3 V2 motherboard and a Raspberry Pi. Uh, so it's the Raspberry Pi 3B I believe uh, but you can run it with different Raspberry Pis as well. And also one more reason of course is the price of this model it is the cheapest uh, Born printer, I think, uh, and I don't have an, an unlimited budget for this machine, and that's why I also chose the Born 0.1. So you get the experience from one of the Born printers uh, without going uh, too big since I don't need it, and I get a really quick small printer that is easy to take with me. Building one of the Born printers uh, comes at a cost though, and uh, I think this uh, Boron 0.1 was marketed as uh, around 400 US dollars uh, but here uh, in Sweden I can get parts uh, shipped from uh, the EU for maybe around 700 dollars so it is quite an expensive uh, printer at least here uh, so uh, you have to build everything uh, yourself, assemble it uh, and it takes uh, a long time you have to do all the tuning yourself and even uh, if you have to do all the assembly yourself it is still a really expensive printer so of course it's not for uh, everyone you have to like the process uh, of building the printer and not only uh, once you have finished it. The printer is also fully enclosed so there should be no problem uh, printing ABS, uh, printing uh, other higher temperature uh, filaments on this machine which is something I also want to do uh, so I am going to build the enclosure for this machine uh, with a top hat as well so we get the full enclosed uh, build chain but that's it for this video stay tuned for my Voron build in the future of this 0.1 uh, printer. I started printing all the parts, uh, trying to source out parts. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go for the LDO kit or source my the parts myself, uh, but that's coming up in the future and stay tuned for the build. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!